Hello, welcome to our uh, March concert. Um, I like to call it the March concert because it used to be in March. Obviously, it's not today. But uh, um, I was going to change that in the program because it's a February concert, but I decided to keep it for two reasons. Um, first reason, in my computer, they're all labeled March concert 2016, 2017, 2019, and so on and so forth, and I didn't want to mess up the continuity. I suppose that doesn't make a difference for the title on the piece of paper, but I kept it that way, and a lot of people label this the winter concert, and I am not calling this the winter concert. It, it hurts to call it that. Winter needs to be over by now. So. Without any further ado, this is the fifth grade orchestra. We are going to play three selections for you. Uh, we've been working hard on these three songs. The first one is called Cripple Creek. Um, and then the second one is a kind of Spanish dance called Valero. Oh. 
there's only one more piece for our fifth graders to perform. It's one of the great ones of all time. There's two that I just absolutely love. This is one of them. The other one is a, a piece called Dragon Hunter. But this one's pretty great too. Um, one of the things I really like about these three songs that for fifth grade is thinking of the difference of how much more difficult these three songs are than the last concert. Uh, if you were able to watch the e, uh, electronic concert we recorded back in November, we did a song called Hard Rock Highway, which is all open strings. And we did some other songs that had like five of the notes. And then the difficulty level just absolutely spiked. And to have them really work hard and, and uh, rise to the occasion of these songs has been really great. So this one is called Fiddles on Fire. patience on that, especially this time of the year as the temperatures go back and forth and back and forth. Um, even just sitting from when we tuned in there to 
when we uh, just got up on stage, the difference in the tuning is quite drastic, so it's important that we do a little double check there. So, all right, much appreciated. Um, if you look at the back of your program, there are some upcoming dates to be aware of. If you have a student that's in band, the band concerts are next week. Um, there's a bunch of concerts in March, so if you've got that handy dandy booster calendar, um, or if you go on the school website, there's a lot of quick, uh, concerts coming up. If you'd like to see the high school ensembles at their best, um, all of the 11th and 12th graders, choir, band, and then the uh, high school orchestra are performing coming up soon as well, as well as the first jazz band concert, the pop pop chord and jazz concert. So those are on there. <laughs> But um, not to the exclusion of many other great concerts, please take a look at your calendar there. Um, and then after this concert, there's only one more concert where all of these students are involved. That's at the end of May. Our uh, final orchestra concert of the year is as close to the end as possible. Um, so be aware of that one as well. Um, that one will be exciting. Um, kind of more pop music and, and stuff like that. First song we're gonna do is one I do every year. It's because it's a great song for many reasons, um, many, many good teaching reasons, but it's also one that students love to play. So this is Fiddler's Fancy.
and the sixth graders only have one other piece to share with you this evening. Um, the big reason why is we spent a, a good percentage of January um, getting ready for a role in the jazz concert. Uh, we played two songs from a jazz book and we learned how to improvise and performed on that concert. So the sixth graders have actually already had a concert um, this calendar year. And, uh, and so that would kind of be our third song. This one is, is a pretty tough one and I gave it to them kind of late. They worked really hard at it and done a great job. It's a fun song, but it's got lots of notes that are new, brand new. And they've, they've done a great job um, learning those new notes. Um, so this is Themes from Harry Potter. patience on the tuning front. It helps a lot. Um, it's uh, frustrating when you're playing your very best and the string is out of tune and it doesn't sound as good as it should, so we would like to double check that before we begin. This is the 7th and 8th grade combined orchestra. Um, it's the last group of the evening. Um, we're going to play three selections for you. These three selections were our songs for festival. We went to a orchestra festival last Wednesday. That is an event held um, um, throughout the state, the one we went to was in Alexandria, Minnesota. Uh, we went up to their high school, beautiful high school up there, if you've never been to it. Really nice, really nice school. Um, and we went and we performed for two judges and a clinician, and they gave us lots of comments and ratings and thoughts, and then they also um, yeah, gave us a score, and we sit, uh, saw how we did. Our goal is always to get a superior rating, 
Um, and while we didn't get two superiors, one from both judges, we did receive one superior, which is quite the accomplishment, um, considering we started this music um, just at the beginning of January, not any sooner. So uh, if you would, um, they did a good job. All right, so we're gonna play those three selections for you. The first one is called Mabel Creek Overture. It has lots of interesting um, rhythmic sounds. It has a nice slow movement in the middle, which can be pretty tricky for students um, and adults, really, um, those kind of changes. And then the second one is a ballad um, based on an old folk tune called Black is the Color of My True Love's Hair. If you're looking at your program, I didn't want to try to figure out how to fit that all in, so I shortened it.
we got one more song for the evening. Pretty quick concert here. Um, the last song you may have heard in the fall if you watched the electronic concert. Um, but there was one big difference. There's a really tricky um, time signature change where we go from a 4-4 to a cut time. Uh, we didn't do, we kind of doctored it and made it easy in the fall. So we switched that and we liked it enough to play it for, for a while longer. So uh, this is the Siege. After we're done, if you're able to, especially everybody on stage, but any of the other students, to move chairs and stands back to the orchestra room. Many hands make, make for light work. And again, thank you for coming. This is the Siege.